And speaking of WrestleMania, uh, Stu. Yes. You are literally one of the only people that I've come into contact with that are not really excited. I can't say not really excited. You don't want to see John Cena versus The Rock at WrestleMania 28. Could you expand on that and, you know, explain why? All right, sure. Well, basically, I just don't like it, mostly for princip- just, just on principle alone. I'm a firm believer. Well, okay, I work at a newsstand in, uh, in inner city Philadelphia. I, uh, I've been working there for about over a year now. I've earned, uh, I've earned my manager's trust, never stole anything, like a lot of, like I'll admit, some of my, some of, some of my uh, co- co-workers have been accused of doing that. Not gonna say Stop who. Stop snitching. I, I ain't snitching, boss. I ain't doing shit. I ain't naming names. <laughs> um, but I mean, I haven't stolen nothing. I've always been. Ke- I've always kept up with the finances. I've restocked on cue, and even without prompting, I've done everything that I have asked for, and then some. You know, and I think that I deserve, you know, more hours because of that. I want more work. Let's say that a guy who was good at his job at the same job five years ago comes back. Out of the blue, did, uh, he, he went off somewhere else. Now he, wants the, now he wants the job again, and he gets the hours, Regar- regardless of whether he's proven anything that he is still capable of doing the jobs. Why should he get those hours over me when I have proven – Without a shadow of a doubt, that I am capable of doing that. Because Why? you don't draw. Because I don't draw. Excuse me. I've, I've made more money for this newsstand than anyone has in the past year. So I don't know. Who you're okay. About. Well, let's put it Believe into me, the metaphor a... and bring it back to WWE. Who, Correct. Who are you talking about, David? Well, I I, I kind of lost my train of thought for a second. Wait, David. <laughs> About the comment of you don't draw, who was that directed to? Oh, uh, I was I was screwing around with, with, with uh. Yeah, he was he, he was yeah. just he was just effing with me, man. Yeah, what I'm up? just trying to be an instigator. I wanted you to say uh, CM Punk, but yeah. I guess oh I'm yeah, there. my bad, my bad. Uh, hold on, hold on. Obligatory CM right. Punk joke. Obligatory CM Punk joke. <laughs> CM Punk is a vanilla midget, and he will never draw anything. He shouldn't even be dreaming about lacing Austin's boots. Okay. Yeah, but David, what are your thoughts on um? What Stu is saying about The Rock, you know, not agreeing with The Rock coming back, you know, after so many years in main yeah. events in WrestleMania. Well, uh, I know it sounds pretty lame, but look, a lot of people, the majority, wants to see John Cena versus The Rock. I know it sucks that a lot of people are great wrestlers and they're not going to get the time of day, but the problem is it's just the, what the majority wants to see. A lot of good wrestlers get passed up. Look at Owen Hart. Owen Hart, God bless his soul. I really miss the guy. He was probably better than his brother, and no one gave him the time of day. It's just how the way, it's just the, way the world works. To be Instead fair, of, it did kind of paralyze Austin, but... Yeah, yeah you know, I, I'm, more, I'm a Brett Mark, so I wouldn't fully admit that, but Brett says that Owen was a better, you know. But anyway... Um, a lot of guys are good wrestlers, and they get passed up. Look at Dolph Ziggler. He's an afterthought in this feud. Look at um, Daniel Bryan. Before he got cast, he cast in a great wrestler. Not very charismatic, but, you know, he got screwed over. He got really, he got nearly buried with the briefcase. He was on uh, NXT, if I'm not mistaken, or Superstars, whatever the hell the show is. But anyway, there's a lot of good guys that get passed up. That's how the business is. It's about what the majority wants. And that's why Cena's in the position he's in right now. Do you really think that Cena will be pushed as far as he is if he didn't get a reaction at all for, or if he wasn't making the money that he is? No way in hell would Cena be in that position. The reason why he's in the position he is right now is because he's making the moolah. Actually, ESPN just recently reported that John Cena is worth over $100 million to the WWE company. I don't know about you, but I would not risk that at all. The WWE not at all. And, make and look, I, I'm, I'm not saying that CM Punk versus The Rock is a bad business move at all. In fact, I do think that it's a good move. But here's the thing. 
the way that WWE writes this, again, I'm going back to the writing staff in this. They they don't even wait uh, to uh, until January or whatever, until the Royal Rumble season, when they really start building up towards WrestleMania. They don't even wait. They just go straight after the day after WrestleMania 27, and they book this main event. For no other reason other than this has to happen. I don't. I wasn't get really it. complaining. It was on my birthday, so. <laughs> I don't know. Well, um, ha- happy belated birthday, I guess. I don't know <laughs> That's a really uh, long time, but thank you. <laughs> yes, yes, it is. Or you can take it as a really early, early birthday wish, whatever, early, yeah. whichever you prefer. Anyway, either way, I don't owe you no more. And so, anyhow, <laughs> the um, the whole thing with uh, the whole thing with the Rock and John Cena. I don't mind it being the main event. As long as you, as long as it makes sense in storyline, to me this is just like okay for the for the one time that WWE actually does fantasy booking, it makes no fucking sense whatsoever. I personally like the idea of the Royal Rumble winner actually getting the main event at WrestleMania, as stated in as stated at the beginning of the Royal Rumble match when he says that the winner will get the main event at freaking WrestleMania. Is that too much to ask? And heck, even that's not even that's not true anymore. Because Lord knows Alberto Del Rio won the Royal Rumble, and his match jerked the curtain at WrestleMania. So what the hell do I know? I don't know. I guess these people that are that are writing uh that are writing uh storylines that are reject Hollywood writers know a little bit more about wrestling than someone who's been watching it for half his for half his life. I don't know. You know, it's point funny. Is, I, I can my, definitely my main see point where is that going. the wrestling industry. This is so full of bullcrap, so convoluted in absolute meaninglessness that it's that it's absolutely impossible to care about anything. Why should I care about John Cena versus Rock? Because because it's a it's an arm brand shilling douchebag corporate whore versus a failed actor. Why should I care? I'm Why sorry. Should there I care are people like Vanilla me out there. I know him. it might be the only one on this board, but I don't care. I'm the only one on this panel who doesn't give a crap about this. I, I am the voice of the voiceless in this case. I don't hang on, give a hang shit. Hang on now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually uh, vibe with you for a minute here. I can see what he's saying because this is the guy who did interviews and said that he went from football to acting. I think you missed a solid amount of time in the middle there, guy. Hey, look, I am. I highly doubt that The Rock is doing this to. I mean. I have to admit it. The Rock is a sellout. He sold us out. He does not want to admit that wrestling was his first, you know, I wouldn't say it was his first passion, but it's what what got him to where he is today. And I hate the fact that he never mentions it. He is not doing this because he loves us. He's doing this as a publicity stunt, probably. But guess what? He's The Rock, and this is probably going to be his last match ever. So we just got to take it as it is, man. We love The Rock. We you cannot say that you do not love The Rock. I mean, you're entitled to your opinion, but come on. You know deep down inside you like The Rock, and you want to see this match. It's so huge. It's exactly 10 years after Hulk Hogan versus The Rock. This is our big dream match. We wanted to see something like this. When you know Chris what? Jericho finally speaks and rips us all a new one for cheering him after all the things he said, he should probably include the fact that we are now cheering The Rock. You know what? I'm going to disagree with everybody. I'm disagreeing with all of you because David as far as your point about the rock not giving props to wrestling he has done that i, I he he did it when he came back on yeah you know, anonymously he did it when he came back in in 2011 when and we was, didn't see him until april of when like i mean but we have to realize that the and i sound like the same people who were talking crap to me a couple of years ago when I felt the same way that you do right now, David. But I see that he has had a change of heart. There was a time, yes, when The Rock, he was like, don't even call me The Rock. I'm Dwayne Johnson now. Um, And he kind of did forget about wrestling. But he's come back and, you know, he's paying back what he has now acknowledged was where he got his start, where he got his platform. So he's acknowledging that now. So, I mean, you can keep holding grudges about what happened in the past or you can judge him based off of the words that he has right now. I'm going to choose to judge him based off of what he says right now. That's just me. But I'm not even trying to discount what you feel right now because there was a point in time where all of the things that you were saying were true. 
And you can be a rock fan, but you can't deny reality. That was the reality at that time. But it's different now. As far as um, Stu, when you said that uh, you asked the question, uh, why do people want to see John Cena versus The Rock or something like that? The answer, it's John Cena versus The Rock. That's it. Like a lot of people out there, they're like, okay, well, this is a dream match of mine. You know, you talked about the fantasy booking and things like that. They are going to excuse some of the stupid shit that WWE has done leading into this match. And I'll be the first one to admit they have made some stupid ass decisions in, you know, building up to this match. But a lot of people are going to excuse that simply because it is John Cena and The Rock. It's a match that everybody wants to see. And, well, not everybody, not you, but, you know, they're going to excuse some of the, like, stupid booking decisions that lead them into the match just so they can see the match itself. And I, it all boils down to the almighty dollar. That's all it is. The Rock, oh, I, he told I know C what you're saying. Don't get me wrong. I know what you're saying. I get why people would want to see John Cena versus The Rock, two of the biggest names of our time in <clears throat> sports entertainment. Yes, I was doing the air quotes there. You know, battling it out for supremacy. I get why people want to see that. Don't get me wrong. I'm not that delusional. But, you know, I'm not going to say, oh, no one wants to see this. They're too washed out guys or whatever the shit. Or whatever the shit. Like, I don't know. But the thing is, is that I just don't get – why you on? Why you just have one guy come back in, and and uh, win the, and just hand him the main event? Or failing that, I don't see why you give the main event to John Cena simply because he's feuding with The Rock. I don't know why you say okay if you say that you really want to put The Rock on a pedestal. Say that you want to put him above everyone else, and apparently his because he's prom they're promoting the crap out of every single thing that The Rock does that doesn't have to do with wrestling. Meanwhile, I, while me, in the meantime, I could count the number of times that he stepped into the ring in, within this past year on one hand. That shows how, I guess that shows how much he cares, huh? Anyway, I don't see why you, you're going to put him on such a pedestal. Say, fine then. The Royal Rumble match is going to be for the main event. The winner gets to face Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Why not just do that and have Cena win that? Do you not want to waste the Royal Rumble? The Royal Rumble's already wasted because you're not putting him in the main event, so that's irrelevant already. If you're going to say this, the winner gets a world championship match that still isn't going to be the main event at WrestleMania, just say that. But point is, is that at least have some form of consistency. I know that asking consistency out of the WWE team is like asking a quadriplegic to climb a cargo net. But either way, that's the least that I ask for. The least. You know what would save all of our problems? John Morrison. I am so close to hitting this computer with a baseball bat. You have no clue. <laughs> but, uh, Stu, just to answer your question, yes, that is too much to ask. I know. It is. <laughs> I know. Pro Wrestling Talk Radio, the show where wrestling fans rate and debate the hottest topics in the world of wrestling and are respectful. If Mark Henry lost that belt, I would have been pissed. Especially this jobber who's randomly carrying around this blue briefcase. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh whoa. my god. And courteous man. Why not have Undertaker versus Kane with the mask on? Come on. No! Yes. Yeah. No. No. Yeah, absolutely not. <laughs> how, do, how many times do I have to put this in your head? No, no, no. Bad. <laughs> yeah, you keep bringing it up. No, absolutely not. I mean, buried alive. It man. would suck. So make sure you tune into Pro Wrestling Talk Radio live Wednesdays at 6 p.m. Eastern on PWFEmpire.com for some good wholesome fun. This is like Kane's what fourth or fifth return, but it had the mask in it. It gives him powers. Who gives a? <laughs>